Hello and welcome to your seventh tutorial on probing games using LWGDL. So in this tutorial we're going to cover handling input for the mouse. So we're going to start off by creating a couple more variables here. Public boolean. Uh, we'll call this mouse one, mouse two, mouse three. We could make this an array, but there's not that many mouse buttons. I mean, if you're running a macro mouse like I am, you've got, probably got a few more buttons on it, but I currently really want to be handling those, and it shouldn't throw any errors the way I'm going to implement this. We're going to put some floats. Mouse X. Should that be? Mm, difficult one. Mouse Y. And then some other ones that I'll introduce you to. Mouse DX and mouse DY. Okay, so what we're going to want to do here is in our tick input, we're going to say if mouse dot is button down zero, and this may be a bit confusing, but zero is actually mouse one. So, yeah, <laughs> it's quite confusing, but, um, you get used to it. <laughs> two and a mouse three is equal to two. Okay, so that's pretty simple how we do that. Um, we'll just stick under here the else mouse one to false. Um, oh no. <laughs> mouse two. Mouse 3 is equal to false. Okay, so that should take our. Uh, let's get rid of these print lines, really. Um, that should take our mouse input and detect if there's a button being pressed. Um, and there's definitely a more efficient way we can do this, but um, I will do that for another tutorial. Um, so, what we want to do now is do these mouse X, mouse Y. So it's pretty simple really. Mouse x can be equal to mouse dot get x and then we'll just do the same but for y. And then right, so basically the mouse dx is gonna get the direction in which this mouse is moving. So this is gonna be useful for when you want to actually get the speed of the mouse instead of where the mouse is on the frame, which may not sound useful, but it can come in many more uses than any, than many. <laughs> Say if you want to like move something around the screen, you can add using the mouse instead of like setting that object's position relative to like where the mouse is. You can just say add to that object's position the speed of the mouse, which is kind of a helpful function. Um. Another thing we're going to do is public. Um, actually, we'll cover this in another tutorial. Uh, but yeah, if we let's make something. Um, in our tick function down here, let's say if input dot mouse one system out dot print line pressing exclamation marks make it work if you don't put the exclamation marks in it won't work actually so you've got to be careful with that yep that's working uh... won't drag up the console in fact that might actually Ooh, no i won't <laughs> uh... that does if it just went black don't worry <laughs> it seems to mess up my computer whenever i like to move stuff around but yeah that's that's working um, and I'm not actually going to start actually using this input handler yet to move stuff around the screen because we're going to get to that as we start to do more complex stuff basically. So yeah, that has been it for this tutorial and I know these input tutorials are probably pretty short but uh, yeah, sorry about that but we'll get on to more interesting ones later. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.